what's up guys i'm dave this is andrew we're with uh, freedom properties I, I know you guys obviously know me from the military millionaire brand but probably haven't seen andrew too much other than his podcast episode where we you know we come out and we uh not, nothing that i was gonna say in that next sentence has anything to do with that so we'll uh, i don't know where i was going i got distracted by the, the truck but <laughs> after the, other than the podcast episode and Andrew's my started as acquisitions manager, now COO, partner, whatever on Freedom Property. So we do all the wholesaling and and uh, off market deals. And this was, was this the first one. This was this was this the first first, one we decided first to deal we decided to flip, and the first flip that I've ever done that looks like it's going to make money. So uh, we wanted to, we thought it'd be cool to take a moment to just kind of tell you about it, show you some of our progress. This was a house. Um, I think this is kind of a testament that this was one of those houses that. There was a grease fire, and it, it the you know the, it had sat for three or four years. Nobody was willing to buy it because everyone was scared of the fire, and so uh, we were able to get it for a decent price. But we had to, well, I'll let you tell a little bit about the terms and. Yeah, we we were able to negotiate. Basically, the guy's son had been in it and in, involved in the fire. They left everything in there, so it sat empty, and they were kind of freaked out about it. But the dad wanted to make sure he was winning the negotiation, so. I uh, didn't want to take a cash deal, wanted more money. So I was able to negotiate with him a higher purchase price with the understanding that I paid him zero down and zero payments and zero interest, but he got more money uh, within 12 months. And to him, that felt like winning because it had already sat empty for years and he didn't need the money, uh, but he was eventually going to get more out of it. And it was a win for us because we didn't have to have as much capital outlay. So it was a good deal for everybody. Yeah. So. Uh, we don't really have any crazy reason to show you this thing. It's clearly not done yet, but we are a uh, work in progress and we thought we'd show you some of the some of the things we're doing and uh, just keep everyone involved in what Freedom Properties is up to. So uh, what are they saying, MTV Cribs? Something, something, let's go. Mm. <laughs> Complete with mailbox. <laughs> Absolutely. We should probably check that mail and see if anyone sent cash. I mean, uh, return it all. All right, so this is this is the house, and so it's actually kind of surprising because this feels so much more open than when we originally came in here. That I thought these I forgot that these windows had actually been here because it just looks. So you got to think like this is how you know the entire house looked. It was you know the the guy was sitting here and he was cooking something. He turned around and was like. Oh shit, the entire kitchen's on fire with grease. And ran outside, there happened to be a fire truck out there, and he was able to get the fire put out really quickly, so it really only damaged the kitchen and like a few doors and windows and siding with heat. But the smoke damage, as you can tell, obviously just took a absolute toll on the property itself. So now yeah. it's totally open concept. There used to be a wall up uh, right here. So we used to, there used to be like this weird arch thing here and not a whole lot of space. So we're going to leave it open concept. This is going to be, or will still be the kitchen. And where we're at in the process right now is. Yes, yeah, so we're working on our MEP stuff right now with, with anytime there's a fire, the city's not even going to turn on utilities until we really have all of this, uh, you know, inspected and pass all the inspections. So uh, we want to do it the right way, obviously. So we've got plumbing done, we've got all the framing done, uh, we're working on electrical, we're gonna have the HVAC put in soon. Once we pass that inspection, we start throwing up drywall and it starts actually looking like a house again, which is exciting. Yeah. So that's where we're at now. And I think what we're doing with the master is cool. So actually, you know what? I'm gonna step over here and I'm gonna let you wander through and point, sure. point out what this did look like and what we've changed because we've completely redesigned this entire end of the house. Yeah, we have. So this is coming off the kitchen here, guys. This is actually going to be the master suite. So we'll have a door here to shut that off. Uh, when you walk in, there's there's been the bathroom here. We ended up moving this wall this direction a little bit to expand the bathroom. Uh, we're going to have a full double vanity, the, the giant shower there, uh, built-ins, really cool bathroom space. With the pocket door, you'll come down this kind of mini hall here um, into the master suite, which we ended up actually shutting off some of the windows because there were too many windows in here, no place to put a bed. 
So um, got the master suite back here in the back of the house. Nice big walk-in closet we framed out. That's actually something I thought was really cool. A buddy of mine that does renovation started doing, and I love it. I want to do it as much as we can. We uh, we put a spot for a, a stack washer dryer in the master closet, which is a nice touch. In this house, there is it's an old house. They've got the basement with the washer dryer hookups down there, but it's nice to have a washer dryer option on the main floor. You know, for mom and dad, main house owner, you know, whatever. Uh, it's kind of a nice touch. And really not that much more difficult to do, especially in this scenario where it's just on the other side of the wall from the bathroom anyway. So pretty straightforward to do, but adds a lot of really cool value that I think home like buyers will really appreciate. So excited to get walls up in this thing, make it look like a room. <laughs> and we've got a super cool ceiling, which you gotta make sure you get. In yeah, yeah, keeping the old knotty pine in here. <laughs> this whole room was knotty pine when we got it, which I know I had a lot of mixed reviews on whether we should pull it down or not, but a lot of it was kind of uh, trashed from smoke damage. And it gave it kind of a cabin feel, which is not the feel of this house in this part of town. So <laughs> uh, had to go a little different, but we wanted to keep some of it to be respectful to how beautiful the wood was. And so obviously there's no reason to go down in the basement, but just suffice it to say it's probably 1,500 square feet, totally open. The only thing in there right now is... Uh, Washer dryer hookup, furnace, water heater, and a like a concrete, like big concrete wash sink. Yeah. And then, I mean, really, you go through the rest of the house. There's the lighting's kind of poor, but there's a there's a bathroom and two other bedrooms here. And then my personal favorite part of the house is up this dark, spooky stairway. And so. Technically, this is a bedroom because it has a closet and windows, egress points, but obviously it's more like a playroom or an office, and that's how it's probably going to be used, but this is all cedar and wood floor and just, it looks super cool. <laughs> so the other nice thing about this house is that it has a massive two-car garage with, like, this side is a shop, essentially. It's got a little patio area back there, which is cool, but uh, this house, I think that adds a ton of value because there's really not very many houses with actual garages on the street, let alone like a detached, oversized two-car with a shop. Yep. And so this house, when we bought this, so we paid 38000 or we paid six hundred, which was taxes, and then owe 38000 at in <laughs> October will, yeah. of 2023. And then, because we did, as he mentioned, zero down, zero interest, no payments for 12 months. And then we had to, that actually opened up some complications because we had to do second position lending for the renovation. And doing a second position lien is rough. Uh, there's just a lot of risk associated with that for the lender. And so we had to pay, uh, you know, one more point than we normally pay, a higher interest rate bump if we go past six months. And we actually gave the investor a uh, 5% profit share of the deal. So, uh, you know, we probably would have ended up saving money had we just done first position lien on the whole thing and wiped off the seller financing, but we wanted to do proof of concept and make sure like, hey, we can take down a house for zero down, zero interest, zero payments for 12 months, and then we can get someone to lend on it and do the project. And so we're gonna be all in on this thing for right about 128, 130, assuming we don't run into any major budget overages. And what, what we realized when we originally comped this out, the house won over and across the street sold for $199 like eight months ago. But that wasn't something on our radar when we ran the comps on this bad boy originally. So we were thinking like $174 was kind of what we were going to get out of this. But as we look at it, now that that can be a permitted fourth bedroom and then the basement is just, once we got in there and cleared out all the walls, yeah. the basement's huge. And so it's not going to be permitted square footage because of how much it would cost to excavate the, uh, the windows to make that egressible, but it's, we're gonna LVP it, paint it, it'll look really nice, and so somebody's gonna be able to use it as a game room, playroom, storage. Office space, whatever. Someone, yeah. someone I, with the washer dryer hookups down there, somebody might even come in one day and just turn it into another unit, and just, I mean, it's kind of a, you have to have it come out, of, come, come, I don't know, never mind. I don't know how you'd do that unless it was like a family member, but it's a nice, nice, yeah. nice big basement. And so this house is gonna be a four two, uh, like 1,800, around 2,000 square feet, but it'll really be closer to 3,000, 3,500. It's just that, 
you know, 1500 of that's not permitted. So right. we're, we're feeling pretty good. Uh, we're going to hope to list for 200, 225 once the finishes are done and we see how nice it is. This is a great area of town where like the renovations have just stopped and there's this house is into them. The next one is, and we are like a quarter block from mother's brew company. One of the biggest brew companies in town and 0.6 miles from downtown. So it's a great location. Uh, and we, we feel really confident about it. But, yeah. you know, obviously this isn't a finished product yet. We just wanted to show you guys what we're working on. So definitely in the path of progress. And I have a lot of friends who ask me about, uh, I like getting creative with some of these seller finance deals and things. That's a, He mentioned it earlier, but, you know, make sure whatever gurus you're watching to tell you that seller finance is just super easy and there's no worries. And do, it, it's awesome. It got us into this house. And probably the biggest benefit that Dave didn't even mention is that because this was the first one that we were really doing, we had to assemble a team of contractors and really get our name out there and, and figure out who we were going to work with and how we wanted to do things. And that, that comes with its own uh, set of issues. So if you're newer and you're still doing that, I'm not saying everybody has the opportunity to do this, but for us, it was great because it gave us a few months to kind of figure things out and get that put together without hemorrhaging interest payments while we're going along. But no cold to cost um, at all. Yeah. And taxes and... We don't even have utilities on there because there's no power. On. So yeah, taxes. Um, that was our, and what taxes on a thirty-eight thousand dollars sale? One percent. I mean, <laughs> not much. We're um, looking at fifty bucks a month in taxes. So. So it was it was a nice thing for us, but just be wary of that. The seller finance stuff is awesome. I highly recommend looking into it. Get creative to get deals, especially in this market. But just understand that if you're not coming out of pocket for the renovations uh, and you've got to borrow it from somebody, it is a riskier loan for them, and you're going to pay for that. Um, so just be wary of that, no matter what everybody else tells you. It's still doable. We're currently doing it. We're happy we're doing it. It's going to be a good deal for everybody involved, but it's, uh, you know, that don't don't find that out too late. <laughs> be ready for what's to come on that. Tell them to smash the like button and subscribe. Oh, are we smashing? Just smash. Just hammer the crap out of that like <laughs> button. Make it wish it didn't show up. Subscribe for more awesome things like this. Um, <laughs> And uh, and comment about whose beard is better. I think that's oh. what needs to be in the video. I mean, it's got a little more practice. I mean, yeah, it's longer. It's all longer. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, whatever.